So these beautiful little pig ear mushrooms, also known as the purple chanterelle, because they are very purple. You need to chop them up, clean them really well, and then slice them up and chop them into little bitty squares. I found that this texture is the best shape for this mushroom. These are not slimy mushrooms at all. I've put some oil in there and I'm steaming off any water from the rains that it may have collected because I collected these right after the rain so they had a little moisture in them. So now I'm pan frying, you know, letting the water pretty much sweat out of there, getting the water off the mushrooms and just waiting for a little golden texture from the pan. That is the best way to prepare your pig ear mushrooms. The next step is to use them in a dish. The best dishes that I have used is your basic recipe for clam chowder. And you use these in place of the clams. It makes the amazing substitute for clam meat and it is just something that you'll go back to over and over. You'll be looking for these mushrooms just so that you could do that recipe again. Clam chowder, purple chanterelle clam, uh, chowder is the best way of cooking these mushrooms. Happy mushroom hunting. And uh, there are no lookalikes on this mushroom. It's a pretty safe bet that when you find them, and if you have an identification book, so that you can identify all those little ridges, very much like a chanterelle, all the folds and ridges, the beautiful cup-like, ear-like shape that they each, each lobe forms this ear-like shape. You can see this one's a little damaged, but they do have a lot of lobes on them like this. The younger ones are really nice firm purple color. They do have some air pocket holes, not a lot of um, areas where bugs would be when they're young. When they're older, they get a little more tan like this. And when they're really old, maybe too old to eat, they are only tan with a lot of light color on them and they will be not firm. So when you squish them, they will not hold firm. When you squish them, they will actually crumble. And that would be too old to eat, but this one with the purple tips, perfect. Perfect to eat, ready to eat, ready to cook, ready for your best clam chowder recipe that you've ever had. So use your own recipe and make the most of it and enjoy mushroom hunting. In your own backyard, there are new regulations, and you must first look and see what they are so that you're always abiding by the regulations. The best way for mushroom hunting is to know a friend with a large property or a local park that allows it, usually national or state parks. Certain ones will allow it, some won't. Always check with their rules and then hit the road to the trees. Find yourself some purple chanterelles. Happy hunting.